what's going on everybody today we are going to be doing another fallout 4 build um and i'm sorry it's been a week um and a couple of more days since i've actually made a video um and my last video was a fallout 4 build but um i did go on vacation i had a nice thanksgiving stuff like that so unfortunately i didn't get to make a youtube video um because uh, I was on vacation, you know, I went to Colorado Springs, but now I'm back and I'm ready to show you another one of my Fallout 4 builds. So today we're actually going to be doing Summerville Place, and it's an amazing settlement that I made. Um, next time I'm going to make Egret Tours Marina, and we also have Starlight Drive-In that I also want to show you, and Kingsport Lighthouse, uh, which is over here. So I've taken over most of my settlements uh, because of the Raider Group and everything. Um, I didn't like the Minutemen that much as much as I do anymore. I don't like the Minutemen that much. Um, I kind of with the Raiders. I really like them. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be making Summer. We're going to, I'm going to be showing you Summerville place. And it is an amazing settlement that I have created. Uh, just really, really, I really, really love it. Um, yeah, next week or next time will probably be Egret Tours Marina, Starlight Drive in or Kingsport Lighthouse. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry about the delay on the videos. Um, um, I'm trying to... I'm probably going to just remake my Bionicle tutorial for you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, but we'll also be making a new PUBG video pretty soon. And also probably a new Friday the 13th Challenge video. So, um, yeah, you're looking up to a lot of gaming videos that I'm possibly going to be making in the future. Not so much of any other videos but pretty much gaming videos. Also, probably a prediction on what's happening in after the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. Um, because I watched the mid-season finale yesterday. It was amazing. You guys should watch it as well. Um, but yeah, let's get started. And um, smash that like button. Um, subscribe if you have not. Um, my goal for this year is to get to 10,000 views of... Um, uh, yeah, please do subscribe. Um, I really want you guys to get me to 10,000 views. We're pretty close. We're at, like, I think 8,400 views by now. Um, so, yeah, I'm also going to try to get a new intro in because my old intro is just kind of getting old. <laughs> so, that this house actually came with Summerhill Place. Uh, family lived here when you first go here. Uh, Preston and Garvey will probably send you here, you know, just to help some settlements. But I made a workbench place out here. Uh, since there's a couple of workbenches, um, I wish I could, can I move this? No, I cannot. I wish I could move this over here, uh, but yeah, I made this little shed over the workbench, and I put it by, uh, the workshop, I made a weapons workbench, and an arbor workbench, and also a settlement population management system, so if there's any un, if there's no settlers that are, if there's an un, skilled settler not doing something or unassigned settler i'm gonna get them uh to work over here is just a resting area much like uh tempines bluff it came with a fireplace so i thought well i'm just gonna make uh one of those little sitting down chairs relaxation station place over here so i kind of made it like tempines bluff uh if you didn't see that video go watch it so yeah uh this is the little resting area with by the fire um, I also made another resting area, so two resting areas uh, with another fire that the settlers go. And here is the house, but before we get in, we have the bar that everybody goes to. Uh, they'll sit down, you know, they can eat their food by the fire, stuff like that. So yeah, here's the bar. And in here, um, I set up this globe. Let me put it back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we'll just leave it like that. Um... Yeah, we, we're just, I'll fix that later. Uh, but yeah, inside the house, I actually did a lot of detailing. It took me a while to make the inside of the house to detail it. I was making up ideas, and I'm like, oh, no, I want to do this. Uh, but here is the living room right when you get in. You got the little couch. You got the rug, uh, TV. Um, I had a globe right here. And then people who are also from the bar, they can also eat here. Uh, so I put some water and some Mirelook meat. Stuff like that onto these tables that they can also eat on, watch TV. I took away the kids' area. I'm sorry about that. 
I know there's a family here, but I took away, right here used to be where the kids slept and everything, but then I changed it into uh, the workbench stuff that they needed. So I put some vases, some Abraxo cleaner, a comedy, water glue, you know, coolant, antifreeze, stuff like that that they would need for the workbenches. Um, this as well was on here. I'll put it back. Um, and then I made a scavenging station that a settler is assigned to. And we got some more stuff, a broken lamp, a Sultron circuit board, typewriters, just some miscellaneous stuff that they might need for, uh, you know, the workbench stuff outside. And then over here, we have a resting area for the family. And don't worry, I didn't get completely rid of the kids. I actually put two beds with some stuff for them, like a teddy bear, toy car, uh, you know, a toy rocket ship and toy alien. Because judging from what the kids' area looked like, they... One of them had a teddy bear and apparently liked cars, and the other liked space stuff. So I made a little toy area for them, their toys. And, you know, I put beds for them and stuff like that. And then the parents' bed, of course, um, with a smoking station with a hairbrush as well. Um, and back here, almost forgot, Blast Radius game. You know, I got a bourbon bottle, smoking station, uh, coffee station over here. So, yeah, I did really nice with the inside, I have to agree. Um, I think this is one of the best-shaped best houses um, out of any settlement. I think this one's probably in the best shape. Um, maybe there are some other better-shaped houses with settlements. Uh, but I, I really made some progress out of this house. I think this is one of my favorite houses that I've made. Over here, we have the defenses. Um... And enemies only tend to spawn over here, so I put some ballistic turrets, some spotlight turrets, because we are by the glowing sea. It's going to be pretty dark. We need some spotlight turrets. So yeah, here's our defense systems. They work pretty well. Summer Hill Place doesn't get attacked a lot. We have uh, a defender up here as well. They defend up there. So uh, I also have some water pumps. I put a laser turn over here because some enemies also do spawn over here. Not very many, though. Uh, but I put a water pump by the tree. And then we have the garden that I, we, that actually came with the settlement. Uh, I just put a bunch of corn, mutt fruit plants, stuff like that for the farmers. And some water pumps, of course, by the uh, farming area. There's also a swing here. And I think that's really good detail. I wish I could do more with it. but um, And then over here is the uh, shopping place. Um, so we have, a uh, general store, you know, trade, armor, weapons, chems, clothing. It is nighttime, so none of them are really working right now, but, um, they will soon be working. These lights, um, uh, are for the nighttime as well. What is that over there? I feel, oh, that is a glowing radstag. I was like, something is glowing over there. It's sleep right now. Um. But yeah, this is the shopping station right outside. Um, they normally use it at the daytime, obviously. And I put a little lamp post up here. I, I really, really love this. Uh, I think it looks really nice. Makes the settlement look good. We got our settlement beacon, of course, over here. I think I put some Behrman feeds here, but uh, more defense systems over here. We got a missile turret, spotlight, and uh, some heavy ballistic turrets. For some more defenses because enemies also spawn, I believe, over there. They come down, so I want to kill them once they come down. And that missile turret will just... Psh, psh. So, yeah, there's more defense systems over here. Um, And a turret right here for the sleeping shack. This is completely for sleeping. Put a dresser here as well. Uh, but, yeah, here's a sleeping shack. I like making sleeping shacks. So, here's one of my sleeping shacks. Put a lamppost by it. And we have another turret right here. And another sleeping shack with uh, some regular beds, actually. And a dresser, of course. Right here is some oh, another workbench area with another turret. I really like this area. Uh, and then we have a power beacon that actually, I'll show you later, eventually goes on top of the house and powers everything in the house. And I really, really like that. I'll get more into detail after I'm done explaining this. But yeah, we have another lamppost over here. And right over here is the workbench area. A chemistry station. I have power armor that... None of the power armor is there. But you can... It, as long as you have caps, you can actually make an empty power armor set. 
Um, so depending on how many caps you have, it only takes one cap to make an empty power armor set. Um, and I believe this comes with one of the DLCs, I believe. Um, but that's pretty cool. Over here, we have a wep another weapons bench. We have a chemistry station over there. And all the stuff that they might need uh, for, you know, fixing stuff like that. Chemistry. So we got like a microscope, uh, some miscellaneous stuff over here. And I put a deflated kickball over here. I thought that would look really nice f for a little detail. And then I also put a lantern uh, down there as well. I just thought that would look good for detail. Uh, so yeah, this is my little workbench area. I really love Summer and Hill Place. I think I put the best time and work into it. Um, and then, of course, we have another... That one goes over here. And to our little uh, power station up here that powers pretty much the entire settlement. Um, so I used... I believe this comes from the Wasteland Workshop. Um, or... Um, the, I, I, I think this comes with the Wasteland Workshop, but yeah, you can get these trailers from a mod, or it's not a mod, but it's a DLC, um, and it'll give some stuff to your settlement workbench. So we have a fine, uh, medium generator that goes to these power pylons, you know, that powers over here and powers the house over there. Uh, which actually goes on the rooftop of the house. I had to put a staircase to get here. And it powers the whole house. And I really, really like that because I, I just think it's cool. Um, it, it looks really nice. You don't got to power too much of the house. You know, you don't got to put it on the sides or anything. It, I think it looks really nice. And that's why I think Summer and Hill Place is one of my favorite settlements by far. Um, so, yeah, that is my Summer and Hill Place place uh settlement build hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm sorry about the delay i'm gonna i'm thinking about making a new intro and you're looking up to a lot of gaming videos in the future for my channel so yeah keep watching my gaming videos um if you haven't subscribed i'm trying to get to 10,000 views for this year um i know you guys can make it you guys really do a blast on the views surprisingly even if i have a small channel uh subscribe if you haven't Smash smash that like button if you in, liked the um, settlement build. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.